Hello and welcome. It's Bobby at the Paper Jungle. I uh, posted this little folio made from a, a file folder a couple weeks ago and several of you asked for a tutorial and I told you that I would give you a direct link, those of you that requested it, so you will find that in your inbox. I'm glad you were so patient and waited. It just seems like no matter how hard I tried or what I had planned, life just jumped up and had other plans for me, so I just couldn't get it posted any sooner, but believe me, I tried. And we have had so many power outages, it's just crazy. But anyway, I am done, and here is what I've created. This one is using um, a Graphic 45 paper called A Lady's Diary. It's a very old, retired paper. Every once in a while they bring them back as a collector's edition. So you may see this again, but I'm sure a lot of people have it in their stash or you might be able to find it online somewhere. This time I just wrapped it with a piece of elastic. It's just white and I just wrapped it around and tied a bow so that way you can just take it off. You don't have to worry about tying and untying. So on this front pocket, I just have um, some greenery. Uh, this little oval was a leftover from the first one. Um, let me show you where I got it. Um, take this one off. Right here where I cut that out. No, is it that, that one? I think it was. Yeah, it had to be. Anyway, wherever it came from, it's a cut, cut out from a previous project. And I just added some greenery, a little um, three-part paper flower with a enamel dot. And then I cut out these words from one of the Tim Holtz sticker books. It says, when nothing is sure, everything is possible. And then in the pocket, I just have a couple of journaling cards. This one says, Lady's Diary. And this one says, Remember. And they're both real pretty on the back. But you could also uh, cover the back with something solid if you wanted. So there's that. Isn't that lady pretty? These colors in this are really pretty. All teals and peaches, kind of pinky peach. So when you open it up, you have your three tags here in this little pocket. And I had these little word tabs here. I just did some paint smushing. I really enjoy doing that. And I just hung a charm on each one. This one says blessed. Uh, the last one says beautiful. This one's turned around on me. And it says believe. It does pretty. And then we just have some uh, collage there on that little strip that holds the tags in. Over here we have a pocket with a chipboard piece. And I just did a little collage here with some of the papers. And again, the little pocket is just smushed with different uh, inks. And we have two of the cut aparts in the pocket. These are from the collection. And then I just made a simple tag for a photo or journaling spot. So that goes in there. Those ladies are so pretty in this collection. Then when you open it, and get these to lay down right. They want to flop out. Open it this way. And we've got an envelope in here. On the other one, I did a double envelope in there. Like this. And I just changed it up a little bit and did a single envelope this time. Here's the double. And on this one, I did a single. I just did some collaging at the bottom to hold the tab down. And then you can put whatever you want in the pocket here. And it's just made from a scrap of the paper. And then we have a tag behind it. Isn't that cute? I love that. This is just uh, some Tim Holtz Distress Ink. I did a little stamping and collage on it. Turned out really pretty, I thought. That goes behind the pocket. And then over here, we just have a little tuck spot here. And I don't have anything behind that, but this is a double tuck. And then we have two cards in here. This one says thoughts. And there's some more of those pretty ladies. And that just holds this file folder down. And you've got room that you can do some journaling or maybe stick a small photo in there. I just thought these papers were so pretty. 
This one says beautiful moments. And this is just, this fashion is cut from the paper and I added a little scrap of lace on each one and I just tore the ladies out of the design paper. These little folders are so fun to create and they're so quick. You wouldn't think so as long as it took me, I know. And then we turn it over to the back and we have another pop. Oh, that's the front, sorry. I'm going the wrong way. Here we go to the little journal part and we have a pocket on each side of the journal and I have a double tag in here, a stack tag, and I just left them plain on the back so that the recipient can add whatever she wants, whether it be a photo or journaling. So there's that one. Goes in the pocket. And on each of these pockets I just put a piece of the border trim from the collection, added some scraps here, and this is a little die cut lady I had in my stash. This came from the collection. And these papers are called Tattered Paint and they're by Tracy Fox. They're so pretty. Now I did not embellish each of these pages in the little journal part. I'm going to give this away. Actually I think I'll give both of them away. And I'm going to send some of the extra papers that I have left so whoever receives these can uh, decorate them as they want. So these turned out really pretty and I love these papers by Tracy Fox. They're just really pretty. Let's go through this just real quick. I've got some splattered paper, some tattered paint from Tracy, um, some tea dyed paper, just some plain white paper. This is just tea dyed and I did some splattering on it. There's some more and there's a piece of the tie dyed or coffee dye. Why I say tie dye? There's a big difference in there. There's that and there's the last page and then here's your other stack tag. And I like to put a little dot of glue on the back of these so they don't come loose. Because they will eventually, the, the, the twine will shift and it'll start loosening up. And here's your other pocket, this pretty little lady. And I just added some distress ink to her dress. She was all real plain. And I wanted her to have some more color. And then on the back, we have another pocket. <clears throat> and we've got another one of the journaling cards. And this one says memories. And then I just cut this out of some different stickers. It says, I just want to make nice things. Creati creativity takes courage. And I stacked a couple of the ladies there with some of the scraps. And this is from the collection, from the paper collection, a New York hat for you. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. I thought it turned out so pretty. So for those of you that requested the tutorial, um, check where you left the comment. And by your comment, you'll find... A link to this tutorial so you don't have to go look for it and if you um, when you're in the process of making this you'll have it all the time easy for you to find just by clicking on that link all right thanks so much for watching I do appreciate each of you and your patience it's been a lot of fun to create this and I hope you'll come back for more in the future thanks so much have a great day bye Hello and welcome. It's Bobby at the Paper Jungle and today I am working on the tutorial for this project that I shared a few days ago making a folio out of a plain manila file folder. So I have one that uh, just like this one it's got the two but it actually has the center tab and then the center indention on the top and I'm going to show you how I folded that and then we'll embellish one together. So get my scoreboard out here. And here is the file folder. Just like this. This is the full file folder. So you're going to take this front flap where it's got the indention and you're going to flip it over and score at 3.75. Right here. We're going to score there. Then we're going to flip it around to the tab side and we're going to score at five. And this one I scored at five and a quarter. The first one was at five. Either one is okay. Then on the center 
where you have three pre-scored lines, I fold it on the center one, and then one back towards the towards the uh, five inch score or five and a quarter. So it gives you a little bit of a gusset there. So when you fold it up, this is what you have. You've got this flap here, then it'll open this way, and you've got your score line here, and then it'll open this way, and this is where I had the journal. So let's do that one more time. I want to make sure everybody understands. From the tab, we're going to score at five. Now on this one, I scored at five and a quarter. You can do either one. And on the front section where it's got the indention, we're going to score at 3.75. Then if you lay it out like it was to start with, this might make it simpler, and you open it out, you've got your three pre-scored lines. You're going to fold on the second one and then the third one, and that makes your little gusset in there. Okay, so that's what we have. Now we're going to turn it around this way, and I'm going to open it out like this, and I want to make a mark at 8 inches, because I want mine to be 8 inches high. Now the one that I was inspired by I think was 6 inches, so I'm going to make a little tick mark here. I'm going to get rid of this. I need to clean that scoreboard up. Got ink and glue and everything else on it. Okay, I'm going to bring the small cutter in here. And on my tick mark here at 8 inches, I'm just going to line it up with my tick mark. And I'm going to cut from the fold just into this mark here. Now, remember that your 5 inch comes first, so I only want to cut 5 inches, but it's actually, let me see, from, let me see if it's 5 inches from there, I don't want to cut too far. I need to go about 4 and a half on this because I don't want to cut into this, this panel here. So, my, my tip mark. So, I'm going to put it at four and a half. I'll put it just inside that, just inside this three and three quarter score. should take care of that. And then we can finish it up with scissors. And let me find a pair. There they are. And then I want to cut up on this fold and this fold. As straight as I can get it, but taking out that little bump that it makes. There's that one. And then this one. And I saved this piece here. You can use it for inserts or tabs. What have you. save that for later. And then I want to fold this up even with that bottom. Make sure it's straight. And see I left part of that divot. I'm gonna cut that out. I don't like that bump. Let me find my little burnishing tool. And 
this one will fold up to the front. Just trim off the excess over here on the side rather than have any overhang on the bottom and I want to trim off this bumpy side here So there's your basic folder. We have this pocket here. Still not got a little goober there, or whatever you call it. It's not making me happy. There we go. So we've got this will be your pocket here. Then it opens this way, opens this way, and I think I just, I'll cover this with paper. I don't really need that gusset in there right now. And then this will be your folio back here, and then you'll have your back pocket like this. That's the basics of the folio. Easy, isn't it? Okay, um, what I am going to do, I went through a bunch of my old papers and I've got quite a bit of a lady's diary from G45 which is an old collection and I thought that would be really pretty in this so I think I'm going to use that so what I want to do is a lot of you may be familiar with this it's just got really pretty stuff and um, I can use some paper dolls a lot of things with this I've got some Victorian paper dolls and be real pretty and this is all pinks and kind of a peachy pink and a mint green or a kind of a teal it's really pretty and a lot of cut aparts in here so I'm going to cut out some pieces to use in this one and then I may make another one with a different file folder and different paper but uh, I'll come back and, and we'll decorate it together alright okay once you have this all cut then you'll want to ink all the edges, or at least I do. You don't have to ink, but I prefer the inking because it helps your paper show up better. At least I think so. But when you open it, you've got this. This is the section where our journal will go. And then you've got the back. Whoops, I didn't ink that. i got to go back and do that. I thought I had it all. I did this side, and that's not the side I need inked. Duh. And then from the front, you also have this flip here. Okay. So we need to, <clears throat> excuse me, need to add our base papers, and I have those cut out. Let me ink this. My vintage photo is getting dry, so next time I go to Hobby Lobby, I need to get another one. Or get a re-inker, I need to do something, because I've had to really scrub at this to get it to ink up, but this is all I've got left, so... I'll get through it. Okay, there's that back piece. Now, we can start adding our base papers. And let me see glue's right here. I'm going to use the art glitter glue 
and I'll show you what I've got cut for the front. Now I'm using Ladies Diary from Graphic 45 and I took one sheet of each design out of the paper pad and I had nearly a full paper pad. So what I'm going to put in here so far, and this is just a base, so I'm going to put these two down here. Oops, a mosquito. Don't want that fellow in here. And then this is going to go here. Now I may use this cut out on the front, I'm not sure, but I'm going to leave that for later. But I do want to glue these two down, and you can cut a piece of scrap paper or you can use washi tape here. I don't have my washi out yet, so, but I'll go, I'll glue these down off camera, but I wanted to show you before I did, because when I come back, we're going to do some ink smushing, but I want to pick out my um, washi tapes, because I'm going to use washi on the edge of it, but with washi, it, it is somewhat sticky, but <clears throat> not sticky enough, so I put a little of the art glitter glue down before I do, <clears throat> goodness, got a frog in my throat there. I put a little glue down before I add the washi tape just to make sure it doesn't start to curl up. So those two will go there. Then on page two, this is what I have. And this is going to go over here. And this is going to go here. And again, I need to add washi tape. And then this little pocket will go over here. And then we'll add some embellishments to this. Remember on the other one. Uh, on this one, I had put a bunch of scrap pieces and stamps, so we'll do that. And we'll do all that together. And then I've got my three tags and my little spacers here. then this will be our journal part and on the journal I think this is the journal part yes this is the journal part this is going to go like this and then I'll have two pockets with this at the top of each one and then on the back This is the back. Get them out of order. This is the back. And that. And again, more washi tape. And then, on this little flip here, when you flip it this way, I'm going to have this mauve peachy color. And this will go over here. And then we'll have this little folder, which will go up here. And this little tuck spot down here, which will hold this shut. But I wanted to show you, this is the Graphic 45 um, die cut of the, in, uh, gosh, what you, file folder, geez, the mini file folder. And it was too, too long. It hung into this gusset, so what I did was I put, it, once I cut it out, then I put it back on the die and moved the die down just a little bit, and I cut that much off the top just to make it fit. And then I can go back and round my corners, but I think I'm just going to leave it as is, and now it fits. So that is the game plan. So I'm going to glue all of these down, and then I'll be back, and we'll do some smushing and some stamping. And we'll add our scraps to that tab in there. And we'll be on, on the way. Alright, I'll be back shortly. Okay, I want to work on these tags now. And I don't have a pink. This has got a lot of pink and teal in it. Kind of a, a rosy pink. And I, I have fired brick in uh, oxide and distress ink. So I'm going to try the oxide first and see what I can do if I do. I want to move this out of the way. I don't want to get splatters on that because I'm going to use that in a minute. 
and I'm just going to add a little water to it. And use a scrap of see if I can dilute it down a little bit. That's fairly close. That'll work on that. Let me get another piece of scrap. I want to see what to do with the teal color. And you have to be careful that you um, dry this in between colors so that if you dry it then you're putting you're doing layers but if you do it while they're both wet then you're blending and I don't want to get purple so or mud Let's see what happens with this I just don't want it to be real dark and maybe a little bit more water that should work out okay what do you think we're going to try that. I wanted to try it on some scrap before I actually dip my tags. So what I will do is add the teal first. Kind of dilute it down a little bit. dry these three colors before I add the get my dryer out here my little heat tool somewhere here yeah there it is I knew I left it plugged in and then we'll add the, the rose color glass. Get the worst of the dampness off of it. Screen. I don't want to put the heat right on the glass and crack it. And this one. That one I didn't get as wet, so it's not going to take but a second. set these aside for just a second. They're still a little bit damp. And what I want to do with this piece is space my tags apart like these are my little spacers I cut out of some scrap. This will be where the pocket goes and I want my tags to be about like so. space them fairly evenly. Let me see, am I even, I don't know if you can see that, let me move this over a little bit more. Let's see if you can see it now. Let me turn it around this way. Okay, so I want to space these out and I just want to make a little pencil mark mark so I know where to put my spacers about right there and there okay leave my pencil where I can find it next time so these little spacers I'm going to glue two together and they're just like a quarter inch by 
about a quarter inch wide by an inch long. And I'm going to glue two of them together. And then I'm going to glue it right underneath where I put that pencil mark. Just so my tags will stay kind of in a little pocket. So I'm just going to line it up underneath that pencil mark. Like that. And then I'll glue the other two together. Do the same thing with those. And just keep your tags from flipping and flopping around underneath there. Okay. Add some glue to this. And put it right underneath this other little pencil mark. Straight, if at all possible. Erase my pencil marks now. And I'm going to put a notch in this one. Just a, a shallow notch. About like so. on this too. Oh, and on this one you want to cut out your cut across here from corner to corner. Take out that bulk. So we'll do that. And kind of angle these top pieces just so the edges don't overhang. Get rid of that. on this one but I am going to do some stamping and I want black soot for that and I'm going to use let me put this other fire brick up I don't want anything definite I just want a little bit of text here and there so I'm going to use this little I don't even know who it's made by. It's just a little generic thing. Let's get this out of the way. And it's going to go from top to bottom like that. So let's just put a little here and there and yonder. Put it sideways. off real quick. I like to clean my stamps off as soon as I use them. I 
I know I'm strange like that, and I've seen people say that they never clean theirs off, but I don't know, that'd drive me crazy. I don't know why, but it would. I guess that's just who I am. Anyway, okay, let's add a little pink to these now. And hope it works out right. I'm going to get it a little bit damp over here first. pin back in my glue. And let's try these a little bit more. It doesn't look like it's going to take them a long time. Let's put a little stamping on the pocket, too. I still got the stamp out here. pieces to embellish this with and the pocket. And I'm going to add something to these. I'm not sure what, but I do like them. I think they blend really well with this. Yeah, that'll work fine. Okay, so I'm going to let these set up for a few minutes and I'm going to put these ink pads up and find me some scraps to embellish these pockets with and I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're ready to move along um, on this inside flap here now is where this little pocket goes and this is a piece of your um, uh, file folder remember we put the little dividers there at the bottom I just did a light stamping and then I took uh, a water brush and I just dipped it in the ink pad and just did some dabs of color in there so I didn't have so much plain background and all I want to do is add some uh, collage pieces, some little scraps to this. And let me see. I think uh, I'm just going to start putting some little torn pieces down. And I've inked each of them with Vintage Photo. Just kind of break it up so it's 
I'm going to put this piece right here. And this one up above. And there's no rhyme or reason, no right or wrong way to do it. Just whatever you think looks good to you. And I think I'll I'm going to stagger that off the edge a little bit so some of that background shows. And then I'm going to put this little word on there. Kind of break it up a little bit. Um, let me see, what else do I want? Let me move this out of my way so I can get it up here um, and put this down at the bottom kind of stagger the colors around a little bit and I'm going to put this little circle in this stamp and then I can trim it off where it hangs over that I think that'll be fine. I don't want that to hang over the edge so so I gotta fold that back and I don't want it to be on my spine. Here's a piece of that pink. Let's put that down below. Pink or peach or whatever it is. We got this little bitty scrap here. I'm just trying to use everything tiny that I got left over. And then I've got these little tiny flower thingies. These are little chipboard elements out of one of the Graphic 45 collections that I've got left. And I just thought I'd stick a couple of these little flowers down here. And how about this number one? And let me see. Got another piece of that. Just didn't really have any ink on it. I don't know if I want that there. It's a lot of blue. I'm going to go ahead and put that there. And then put this little tab. And I just added, um, gosh, what do you call those stupid things? A um, little chipboard ele element tag again from another one of the collections. I've got some left from Couture and some from, um, golly, I don't remember which. Let's put that on there, just like that. And I'll tear that off a little bit, it's too long. And we'll stick that in there and that'll take care of that.
So there's a collage on that. And that'll be our little pocket. Yeah. Let's trim those off. over. A little bit. Let me trim those up. This is taking longer than I meant to take and um, it's just, you know how it is. Life gets in the way and every time we have to go to town, and I mean it's a 30 mile trip up and back and then by the time you run your errands and do what you need to do, the day's pretty much shot. By the time you get home and unload your purchases and put things away and get dinner over with, it's like, mercy, where did the day go? It just seems to go by in such a hurry. Okay, this is going to go down here. So let's add our glue. Now, if you've followed my videos in the past, you know that I like to glue the bottom piece in first, like that. And I like to put tape down there, just so that whatever I slide in the pocket doesn't get caught on this edge. it will get caught. So I'm going to put a piece of scotch tape down there and it's not going to show. I need another little piece over here. Now let's glue our side pieces down. little tabs. I need to do that too. To divide those. Okay. One more little tags. that down. We'll go in here like this. Like that. Of course we still gotta put our eyelets in them. I'm gonna hold those little tabs down for just a second. Get this out of the way. And then we've got this little pocket it's going to go over here. And I've cut out a few pieces for it. So what I have is these two little flags like that. So we'll glue those into place. And I'm going to try to keep it as flat as I can so that I don't have a lot of extra bulk. So there's that one. And these are just scraps again. That one. And this. 
it's going to go over here to the side. Actually, before I put that down, this is too big. It's not. I'm going to use the rest of this circle. I think that'll be cute over there for more color. That was an afterthought, but I think it'll be fine. Put it underneath here. And we'll put another chipboard piece. I think this one's from Couture as well. I think I need that, so I'm going to lay that aside. And I've already trimmed this up so we can stick this down. Let's do the bottom piece first. again. Now let's go to the sides down. our little pocket. Okay. Now on the other one I had a flip down up here. I didn't put that in this one. I can always go back and add it if I want to. But for right now I think I won't. Now this is the part where your journal's going to be. And I've got two pockets for that and I haven't um, got all my embellishments out yet. But um, I'm ready to put the pockets down and I had these little paper doll things from um, Timu. And I just took my water brush and added some color to her dress. And this one already had color in the hat. So that's what's going to be there. But I've got to find some more collage elements to put there. So that's this. And then this goes over this way. And we've got this piece here. And then this is your little file folder and your tuck spot down here. So I'm going to pick some more collage pieces for that. And um, over here I'm going to put an envelope, a larger envelope. But I'm going to cut it down some. It's a little bit larger than what I want it to be. So I'll be right back and I'll give you the final measurements on that. Okay, we're going to move forward here and see how much more we can get done on this. I'm really sorry how long it's taken me, but like I said, it's just and so much going on around here. So what I have is this little file folder and I have put um, just some scrap pieces in here, a little uh, label with a date. This is, um, I think it's from the Field Notes, Tim, Tim Holtz, and it might be a Tracy Fox label, I'm not sure. This word fashion I cut out of the paper and added a little scrap of uh, lace. And this is just uh, torn scraps of the paper collection. The same here. 
these vintage ladies, I just tore them from a piece of the paper right here. One of this, this sheet just has tons of ladies on it, and I just tore around them and inked them and put those on there with some ink splatters. And I'm just going to glue this on two sides and the bottom so that it'll be a tuck spot and I can put a tag in there. So let's do that. Get some glue on there. Okay. We'll put this down. Like so. Let's burnish this into place. Now if you want to journal in here or add a little photo, you certainly can do that on these two spots, but I just kind of like it like it is. Now this little piece is just a scrap of the file folder. It's a piece that was left on one of the folds, and I just cut this piece down a little bit shorter, did some ink splatters and stamping, and stuck some scraps on there, and that'll be my little stopper tuck spot. And I'm just going to put a little glue in here to keep this closed. Oops, I didn't need it there at the top, did I? That was kind of silly. And then I'm going to glue it on three sides again. And I'm going to put just a little bit right here so that whatever I put in there doesn't fall out. I don't want it to stick all the way down. Just a little bit of a double tuck spot. And then we'll glue it here and here and just a little bit at the bottom. And we'll put this down here and that will be our tuck spot. And that'll keep this little file folder closed. And I have, uh, these are some cut aparts from the collection. And we can, I think, yeah, I might put one in there. This one is Lady's Diary, although I don't like that in there. And here's a little um, journaling spot put that in there. Came with the collection. Now for this little envelope, what I did was, it's actually wider than I want it to be. It, it would work. But it's going to be really close on the edges and I would rather have more of this print show. So I think what I want to do is go back in here. And this to start with is I think it's a full 12 inches. Yes, it's the 12 inch sheet. And I had cut it at about four, about five and a quarter. So I'm going to take this scored part off that I have here, which is just, let me see, where's my paper trimmer? Paper trimmer, paper trimmer. There it is. to cut it down just a little bit and that is it's a half an inch so I'm going to take that off of both sides and rescore it so it'll be a little bit smaller on, but it didn't want to cut, so let me 
and get my scissors. There we go. Got it off. Now I just use that same tag die to cut this edge here. Or the file folder tab. I just laid it along the edge and used that to cut it out. Now we can score this again at a half. Graphic 45 paper is a little bit heavier than some, but it is so pretty. I really like their paper. So we'll burnish it again. There we go. This will be a small envelope now. size of page. I really like that. And then it will open out and we can fill it full of all kinds of things. So what I'm going to do is cut out. Let me get my pencil so I can make myself a marker. What I do with my pencil. I lose more stuff. I just got too much stuff out here. This has got any lead in it. Let's see if I can get a mark there and a mark there. Oh, it didn't make a mark. Actually, I can take all of that out. I didn't need to make a mark. What I need to do is put a little V cut right here at this fold. and take this half inch off. here. And then we can glue this down. Let's put a little notch in that. I think that'd be good. Um, use 
use this small one since this is a small envelope. I'm just going to put a little bit of a divot in there, not much. There we go. Now we can ink this. just need to put glue on these two little tabs. So I'm going to leave it there for the moment because I may want to add something that kind of sticks out. This can actually be a tuck spot and I think I will do that. So let's go ahead and glue it down on three sides. this pocket to fill. We've got to put our um, eyelets on here. And then we need to have two pockets here. And what I have for this is I just cut out some pieces from the collection of little scrap of ribbon. And I'm just going to put these down here. Just a collage of sorts. It says, style is a simple way of saying complicated things. <laughs> I just cut it out with my pinking shears. And I want to keep this fairly flat. Because this is where our journal's going to go, if you remember. And we'll put this down where that cream color just kind of peeks out of the top. with some Fabri-Tac. This is just a cotton lace, a scrap that I had. Come on, if the Fabri-Tac will come out. Here it comes. Just 
a little bit sheer. We lost most of what it says, but that's okay. And a little lady. Now these are some of my leftovers from that Timu stuff that the one lady sent me. And they didn't have any. Well, this one lady had red in her hat, so kind of a pinkish red, so she was appropriate, but the other lady didn't have any color, so I added some color to her. I'm just going to put her right there. And put a little stamp here. to fill and our journal to add so we're just about getting there um, my granddaughter is and she's actually my grandson's wife granddaughter by marriage she is in her last month she was really sick as a small child and they didn't even know if she would live so this pregnancy has been precarious but she's now in her last month actually just a little over three weeks left, so she's doing good. We saw pictures of the baby just last week, and he's in the right position, and he's grown good. And he, uh oh, that's too wide. Yes, it is. I'm gonna have to cut it down. I thought I had those measured right, darn it, Bobby. Why can't you get things right? That one's measured better. Hmm. Did I get them different sizes? Yeah, one of them's a little bit bigger than the other one. Alright, well we'll put this one together and I'll trim the other one down and add it. That's my fault. I'm good at stuff like that. Let's put this down. That's no big deal. I can trim a little bit off one end. This is going to go this way. This one was from the paper collection. I just trimmed it out with the scissors. right to me is where it goes. That's the beauty of paper crafting. It's your project. Whatever looks good to you is the way you should make it. There's no really right or wrong way. It's just a matter of what you like. And we all like different stuff, so it's what makes the world go round, right? She's the one that I added a little distressing to her dress. She was all real pale. Didn't have any color at all. And here she goes. And a stamp for hers. or beautiful or something to put on there. There we go. There's her. Let's trim this one out and we'll go ahead and glue it down.
it in. And I'll get my papers together for the journal. And on this time I'm not going to decorate the journal pages because I don't know who's going to get this one. I think I'm going to give it away. But I'm going to leave the pages for whoever to decorate and add photos or tags or whatever they want to add to it. So this is going to go right here. Actually, let me get the bottom squared away. Put a piece of tape in there like I always like to do before I set the sides in place. Never the end of the world. So let's glue down this bottom, add our tape. stiff because I had to cut it when it already had that trim on it. It didn't be alright. Okay, there's our two pockets. Alright, and then we've got the pocket on the back and we'll embellish that and do something with this. So there we go so far. We've got this with this pocket. We've got these three to do. Something to go in there. We'll make something for this pocket and this pocket. We'll embellish this and we'll add our journal in here. And then we've got things that can go in this pocket and a tuck spot here. Make sure I didn't get that glued down. Yes, that's good. It's tight, but it'll hold a small tag. All right, so there we are. That's what we've got so far. All right, I'll be back shortly. I'll try not to take so long. Hopefully she won't have to make another trip to the doctor. All right, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I want to share with you what I've done to finish this up. We've just got to wind this up. It's just taken entirely too long. So I have this piece of elastic cording, and I just wrapped it around and tied a bow. That way you can take it off and put it back on. 
So on the inside here, all I've done to this is add some, um, a little piece of the design paper, a stamp, and a piece of lace. And then I just made a simple tag, put a few scraps on it, and one of these little tiny tags. That's all I've done, and that just slides behind there. I don't have anything in the pocket at this moment, but the pocket just tucks behind this little uh, cut-off piece in the tag, or the stamp. And then this is the front piece, which we already went over with the little tags. Um, I just put a couple of the cut-aparts from the design paper in here with just a simple tag. This is the design paper, and I just backed it on a piece of the file folder scrap that I had. We did this pocket and all of this together. Then in here, we did the simple these pockets, and I just um, made a, a stack tag. And this is just two different sizes of tags, and I just used a piece of fun foam in between it. You can maybe see... I don't know if you can or not, it's kind of hard to show. There's just a piece of fun foam in between it just to elevate this top piece. And that gives you a little lip where if you want to slide a tag or a number or something behind it, you can. Uh, but I left it plain so whoever receives this can add photos or journaling or whatever they want to it. And then this is just um, some Tracy Fox papers. Uh, they're called uh, Tattered Paint. And I cut this from the design paper and just put it on the front page. But I'm going to leave the rest of these plain so that uh, whoever receives this can add their own embellishments and stamps and what have you to it. And it's just several pages, and they're all plain. Some of them splatter painted, some of them coffee dyed. And then another stack tag back here. And that's all I've done to that. And this... Um, journal part is just put in with a, a three pamphlet stitch and you may probably have done that before if not uh, you'll see it in another one of my tutorials and there's there's multiple tutorials by other people as well showing how to do that and then on the back pocket all I did was cut out this call it says a New York hat for you and I cut that out of the design paper with two of these ladies and so one sheet all about hats and I just added some scraps at the bottom, and it says, I just want to make nice things. Creativity takes courage. That's all I did. It was all very simple and plain, easy to do. Uh, I hope it um, it's something that inspires you. Uh, if you make one, I'd love to see your finished project. I always enjoy seeing um, what somebody creates um, when they use one of my designs. It's just heartwarming to know that Oops, I guess I'll have to retie that. Heartwarming to know that somebody got something out of it. It really is. So, I'm going to put this back around it. And if you have any questions or concerns, anything at all, leave me a message. I try to check it at least once a day and answer any questions that you might have. So, there you go. There is the ladies' journal and the original prototype using some antique type papers. They're not really antiques, but they're copies made to look like antiques. So that is the two. I'm going to give both of these away, so if you're interested in receiving one, let me know. I'll do a drawing in probably a week or ten days. I'll give everybody a chance to take a look and see if there's anything that might really inspire them. Uh, with each of these, especially this one, because I left a lot of the pages blank and the tags, I'm going to include some of the um, ladies diary papers with it so that whoever receives this one can embellish it to their own liking so thanks so much for watching have a great day and i hope to see you come back soon for more tutorials and ideas have a great day bye